back in 2016 was when I started my online presence. Over on Twitch, I would stream a little game known as Audio Sir. Right, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing the Mono Pro because we're going to be using one color, aka hence the Mono. And we are going to be using some of these Monster Cat copyright free songs that we have the licenses for. And we are going to start out with this one here. We're going to start out with this song, Worlds Collide by Coven. So one thing that I liked about Audio Surf is you could pick any song and it will create a graph this bit means the track isn't very intense this downhill section means the track goes very intense so obviously this isn't as intense as some of the other songs that we're going to be doing but also it just looks absolutely stunning no sleep no fear different point of view it's here, it's now what we want to do Don't have all the answers, but we don't Look at the colours and the shapes, it's just crazy I thought the answer was in front of me But it was just a dream And all the feeling made me see So the aim of the game is to avoid all of these grey ones and hit these coloured ones which change colour based on the intensity of the track. It's getting more intense. It's been a long time since I've played this game. We haven't hit a single grey yet. Fingers crossed. Ah, oh, loop de loop. Trying to get back into the flow of things, and it was just so much fun to come back to, honestly. So, the story goes, I obviously started on Twitch before anything. So I started on Twitch in about 2016, maybe even 2015. And it was one of them, it was so much fun. This was actually the first game I ever played on Twitch. And it was... It was fun to sit there for like two or three hours. I would find a load of songs I fancy playing, put them into a folder, and I would just play them on the live stream. And I maybe got one or two views across the whole three hours, which is what Twitch was and is still is. But it was just so much fun to sit there and play this kind of game. And it's a really relaxing game to play this. Especially when you get a good soundtrack like this. Oh, there we go. The intensity building up.
And that is it done. Time for a little bit of meme. This game is for a game that came out in 2008. It is visually stunning. Like, honestly, I haven't seen a game look this good from that era. And the fact that it runs on a, quite frankly, really bad computer is pretty impressive. the most because I could just sit there for hours on end and just play non-stop now this song looks really crazy going up and down we're gonna give this a try personal best 83,000 I've got all my high scores from these songs from like years and years ago the servers surprisingly are still online for this game there are high scores I don't know whether it's like the servers are run by Steam. I wouldn't presume they'd be. But the servers are still live. The high score leaderboards and all that are still live. And the fact is, you can. The way the game works is you could download the song to the PC, click on it, and it will render it like the default program. And it will render a map like this. And the fact is. That is still life. Thank you. 
fight today, like, that you can get really large amounts of, like, blocks like that. I don't like using that, though, because it means that with this, I'm sort of more concentrated. Otherwise, then I'd start relying on it. Ah, oh, that's the first great block we've hit. to the belly of the beast and if you look you can actually see the leaderboards here of other people who have completed this one and you can see here we are fourth on the leaderboard with uh, my mate Jarrett down here at the bottom with a very measly 37,000 points okay this one should look pretty good it's got some uphill and some downhill sections so that looks hopefully this one goes well the one thing that I was always really surprised with this game though is the fact that you could play it. I could play this game and be able to live stream it at the same time on the same PC because of how little resources it actually uses. I would have to turn it down to minimal graphics. At the moment I'm on enhance because there's three settings. There's four settings. You've got Minimal, uh, medium, and then you've got um, enhanced and premium, which is, I think, was an update like in 2014 or 2015 to make the game look even better. But it could run so well, and it was just amazing. And the fact that it flows so smoothly into the, obviously, the uphill slow section and then the speedy downhill section, that flow is, is the perfect recipe for a perfect music game. This is one of the best music games out there. extra bit of flow and it just goes up and down it's amazing That's trippy, that music. Oh no, I didn't hit a single one of those then. That's the kind of section that you would then use the extended bits. Fact is, in 2015, they actually came back to AudioSurf seven years after the game came out, 
and they made a brand new game. You'll never guess what it's called, actually. It's called Audio Surf 2. And we're going to play it now, once this finishes. Now this here is Audio Surf 2, alongside with the mono mode. There's actually skins for this game, and this game has a completely different style and a completely different sort of way that the game works. And we are just going to jump straight into it with this song by Muzzy called Feeling Stronger. So if you look, it shows you how to play. You've got to collect all these round looking blobs, avoid these spikes. You've got match colours, and you get power blocks which have some power, I'm guessing. And we've even got a little leaderboard on the side here. Wasting time on my own. All the places that we go. All this pain builds within. Two steps fade, what could happen? Finally, I feel more free. This game never the felt as smooth as Audio Surf 1. Let it go, but let it be, the visuals of this are stunning. Me. My heart belongs to me. Ah, oh, the drop's coming. The drop is coming. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, it nearly hit a load of spikes there. There we go, we get loads of spikes here. Not spikes, blobs. We get loads of blobs. Narrowly avoided the spikes there. Ah, this is spikes. The fact is those spikes, they don't create big blocks to get in the way. They just take away one of your points in these bars below. But you only score points once you fill it up. So that's how it sort of differs style of the game. Gosh, the colours are just crazy. Oh, uh, that's not looking good. Our score's gone down quite a bit. We're about 50,000 points behind that guy at first. The thing is though, Monster Cat was perfect for this game because you could just download anything you wanted. not to hit any slides, but this is total concentration here. Amazing. Oh, we've hit a spike there.
Very good. Okay, we're about 140,000 points behind. Uh, so that wasn't great. But we did alright. First time in this game since, well, maybe three years. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for 2k subs. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, hit that join button, it means the world to me. We've finally got merch as well if you guys want to buy any of that. And stay tuned for the next episode of the 2k series. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.